Greetings, Transformer fans. I'm Mike, and welcome to Orion's Belt Creations. Today, we are reviewing the Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Autobot Jazz. And I really like Jazz. Really cool character, uh, particularly from the G1 cartoon, and then even from the, the Transformers movie. I, I feel like they made a mistake in killing him off, because he, he was just really awesome. Um this particular figure, there's a lot of QC issues with it. I hope that's just mine and not a widespread thing. And I'll point those out as the review progresses. Uh, but I will be returning this particular figure to the store and exchanging it for another one. It's that bad. So let's take a look at the packaging before we get into the actual figure itself. So as you can see, it's a really nice uh, window display box there. I like how they've done the power of the prime symbols in the background. That really makes the packaging stand out. And of course, you got a, an image here of Jazz in his alt mode and a nice artwork up here on the box. I really like that. Combined mode image on this side. On the back, your obligatory product images and then showing how to use the, the headmasters and the chest box and that sort of thing. So that's all there is to the packaging. On the inside, you have your collector's card, which is really nice. And one of the things I really like about the uh, collector's card for Jazz is that, you know, not like the uh, Titans Return where the headmaster is always coming off with a figure. Uh, I really, really like this card. Really nice. Also, I guess worthy of mention, the instruction sheets that always seem to be missing a step. Chest piece here uh, with a removable section there in the center. As well as Jazz's blaster, which is done in a nice silver paint app. Very hollow. I'll probably wind up repainting it. And on to the action figure himself. Let's adjust the camera so we can get in closer to Jazz on his eye level. Jazz may not be the tallest Autobot, but he is the baddest. So, really cool action figure. Uh, I really like his head sculpt there. That looks really nice. And uh, I really appreciate how they try to stay true to the G1 image of Jazz there and IDW appearance. Uh, he stands five and a half inches tall and a uh, really decent looking figure overall. Uh, there's a lot of detail that's missing. And one of the things you'll notice right off of the bat is that he's kind of leaning to the back here. And that is because there's some really loose joints in the legs, upper body. When I was originally transforming him, the backpack section, which is the top part of the car, I didn't even place any pressure on it at all. I was transforming the arms, and it just fell off. Not popped off, fell off. Uh, so that's why I'll be returning it to the store. But his head's kind of on a ball joint, you know, decent range of motion. Limited up and down movement, but side to side. Shoulder joint seems to be tight you know to move forward and back that's really it um double jointed elbow there of course no wrist swivel at all no waist swivel forward and lateral movement at the hip thigh rotation bend at the knee and his toes his feet are just kind of locked into place during transformation you know that's pretty much it and, of course, he can hold his blaster in, in either hand. Um, you know, and if, if the if the joints were a little bit tighter, there you go. You could get some decent poses out of Jazz. Um, I don't really care for the arm panels coming down behind his hand. I don't like that. It would have been nice if there was some way they could have, you know, made that so it folded back. Uh, but I guess that's too much work for Hasbro. Um, but overall, still a decent action figure. So let's get right to transformation. What you want to do first is come down here and 
flip the feet up like so. Turn him over. This top panel here is going to open up like that on both sides. Very hollow section. And that is meant for his legs to come in like this. Up here on his uh, on his back, you can see that's on a double hinge section. Let me go ahead and untab this. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's two translucent tabs right here that tab in here and here to form the top part of the car to lock in. This is also the connection joint for the uh, combiner mode. But you want to get all that out of the way and bring his legs in and close them up on the inside like that. And if you don't get them just right, it won't close up. And then you're just going to take the back of the car and tab it together. And then this double jointed section here will collapse in like that. For his head, see where his head is located? I'm going to push his head in like that. It's going to come underneath here. This panel right here is going to swing up and pop out the top. And that goes on to the bonnet of the car, the trunk right there. You're just going to take his arm panels and you swing them around like so. They just kind of come in and fold underneath the car like that. and they tab in right here and right here on the back of the car. And there you have his alt mode, which I have to say looks pretty decent. Now, as far as the modern jazz action figures, which I do not have, the uh, Hunt for the Decepticons version, I uh, forget what it's called, but it was a really, really nice looking car have more of a rounded shape to it and uh, I really like that particular action figure. Now his blaster cannon can go into any of these pegs like right here on the side. It can go up top or it could go on this side. So that he's got his, his blaster folded out while he's in car mode pursuing the Decepticons maybe break down. Uh, but still, overall, it's a nice toy. Uh, it looks looks really good. I like the translucent blue here for the headlights. The blue stripe in there, the Autobot logo. All that's done really nice. The logo's on the side. It's got his name written on the side. Back here is very bare, which some minor paint apps and detailing could take care of. Um, you know, very simple transformation. You know, so if you flip the car over, of course, you're going to see basically his robot mode just compressed. Uh, but still a nice transformer. Is it worth $16? No. Uh, particularly with uh, how cheap the plastic is and the QC issues that I just encountered. Uh, I think those are issues that place these toys at a price point that is just too expensive. Um, you know, with tax at my local Walmart, it comes out to almost $19. So that, that's a lot of money for a deluxe class action figure. Um, and I, I, I just think that's that's too much, really, uh, to pay on it. My advice would be, if you don't have this particular action figure, you know, wait a while, see if it goes on clearance. Uh, because it's certainly not worth that, that much money. Well, there you have the Power of the Primes, Deluxe Class, Autobot Jazz. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below uh, the video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Orion's Belt Creations, please do so. Check out my Facebook page by the same name. I, I leave a lot of 
news information and I show my custom toys and stuff like that on there. Really love connecting with fans from all over the world who share my passion of collecting toys from Halo, Star Wars, Transformers, just various franchises. Hope you guys have enjoyed the review. Stay tuned. There's more to come.